left the team. Have you anybody else decided to move on? Right now, we're, we're intact and uh, finished exams Tuesday, and then uh, all the grades haven't been posted yet. But we'll see when we get there. Is there anybody injured who might linger into the season, like recovery or anything like that? train and, and uh, so critical for our guys to go out and work against each other in what we call PRP PRPs which are player run practices and uh, the organization that's got to be on the players we can't be there and so it's critical for us to make strides on in, in all three phases throughout the summer and we certainly can make a lot of strides not just from a strength standpoint endurance standpoint we obviously need to be in shape um, we, we need to get ready to roll with a very good NC State team for game one so but just more than anything, just the, the, a lot of carryover from spring, you know, mentally as far as understanding what to do, how to do it the way it's supposed to be done, and obviously being great physical and getting this. How about incoming freshmen? Is that something you're excited to see how they're going oh, Absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of like Christmas. You get out there with those guys and see how they perform and, and all that. And my expectation for them is just to work hard. Be the best they can be at this point right now. I have zero expectation for them as far as playing time and those things are concerned. I've been doing this a long time. I've seen guys that have come in and contributed and started as true freshmen, and it's been wonderful. And I've been seeing guys that maybe they didn't play their freshman year. That doesn't mean they're a bad player. I think three out of the last five Heisman Trophy winners were redshirted. So it just takes time. Football's a developmental game. So my expectation for all freshmen and always has been just come in and work hard. If you do that, you'll be okay. Well, when you're talking about all-season workouts, have you challenged a couple of guys to be leaders in that or have leaders Well, I think we've forward? got a lot of good leadership, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I think we've got to continue to come on defense. And, uh, so, uh, but I, I certainly feel like in the situations I've been involved with, you see those things kind of emerge as it goes. And uh, and I think that certainly we will develop that over the summer. Is it tough to do that on defense with so many young guys, so many untested guys? Well, we got some guys that play a lot. And, and certainly we need to lean on those guys to be part of that group. It gets some a little mundane in the summer as far as the workouts are concerned and the heat is concerned. Uh, all of those things, that's where your leadership comes in. To go push for another day, to go have a good, another good PRP, to have a good, another good workout, to have another good run. That's where the leadership is developed. And, and, Coach Dillman and his staff are looking forward to, to help mold that leadership throughout the summer. This area obviously has a lot of high school football talent. Is this an area you've been up here a lot, recruiting a lot? I've been up here a bunch. Uh, I rock a lot of great Gamecocks uh, from here. And, they, and I've been a lot of places, not just in the state of South Carolina, but this is some of the best high school in the country, high school football in the country. And you look at obviously South Point one and two state back to back state state championships and and Northwestern won the state championship, I believe, two years ago. Uh, but York's been good. Nation Ford's been good. You know, Rock Hill High School's been good. So uh, there's a lot of really good football players up here and some outstanding football coaches. No. Uh, Eldridge, uh, Thompson, Javon Kendall will be around for May Messer. Mm -hmm. any, any update on Keyson when, when he's supposed to be? Not at this time. I'm not sure there. I know I know that, uh, that uh, Eldridge and, uh, and Javon have been uh, on track and what they're, they're doing. How important is it for the program for you to do stuff like this to come out and meet with fans? Well, I think again, this is a small gesture to say thank you for the support that we have. We got the most loyal fan base in the country, and uh, it showed uh, very evident to me this year as, as poorly as we played at times in the season, and the positive uh, backing that we got from from the Gamecock family has been awesome. And uh, I personally appreciate. It. I know our players appreciate it, and uh, something just, just a small gesture to say thank you. Speaking of spring ball, any young guys on either side of the ball that really caught your eye throughout Paul the spring? Audrey Smith, Smith did some nice things. I mean, these guys going to help us next year. Uh, uh, you know, continue to get healthy with the ankle. I, obviously, that that set him back a little bit, but more serious than we probably had thought it. You know, originally, uh, MJ Webb's going to help us. He's going to be a good football player for us. How much next year, I don't know, but but he's a guy that I'm, I'm really glad is in the program. Some he, is a guy that needs to get stronger in the weight room, a guy that continue to, to, to come on for us as far as 
as those things are concerned. Uh, you know, I'm just thinking in terms of the mid-year guys off the top of my head. Uh, uh, so I'm trying to think who else we have in mid-year. Jaylen. What's that? Jalen Dickerson. Jalen Dickerson, wow. Yeah. He can play. He's a really good football player and really uh, handled things extremely well in the transition. And uh, he's going to be a really good football player. I'm glad he's a game coach. As far as the other pressure is concerned, you always want to kind of wait till they get on campus before you start making determinations of who's going to help. And, and, you know, obviously, on the defensive side of the ball, some of the guys might play, and whether they're ready or they're not ready. That's just the, it is what it is right now. I feel we've got to, those guys have got to be able to contribute and be ready and mature enough to, to play right now. And they understood that in the recruiting process. We're just very thin. We got some question marks on defense. We need some of those guys to help offensively. Uh, you're coming out of spring, that's where you don't have as many question marks, but certainly if a guy can come in and help you, uh, whether it's a receiver or on the offensive line or, or, or you know, any of those situations, you certainly would welcome. Thanks, Russell. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks, have a good night.